How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another World of Tanks video. This is actually something a bit special because, well, as you can see, this is me playing in my VK7501K, uh, which is the newest premium tank that they've introduced. And, you know, as the title says, you know, sometimes you do lose the game. And there's not too much you can do about it. Um, and this video, you know, obviously that's kind of a spoiler alert, I lose this game. But, at the same time, you know... You, there's only so much that you can do to actually make yourself win the game. And I want to kind of talk about what I was doing in it and what my thought process was while I was doing it. Because there was a lot of chat during this game about how you should play the game. But when you're actually in the battle and, you know, it's you against whatever enemies there are, or it's only down to you and maybe another person, it's completely different. You know, you can't really be there and say oh you know like an armchair general you know all, all them type of people you just need to like not listen to them because when you're spectating it's completely different to when you're actually playing no one's going to be able to play exactly perfectly all the time you know it, it's very it, it's very complicated and kind of annoying when people you know say stuff how you should play honestly at the end of the day it's just a game you don't need to get so, like, you know, argumentative over it. You know, if you win or lose, it doesn't particularly matter at the end of the day. Are you going to really think about that loss, you know, in a day's time from now or in a two weeks' time from now? Probably not. So, you know, let, let's get into this. So, as you can see, I'm driving along and I've got my VK, as I've said. And we're going to try and clear out this side of the map. Now, I'm pretty confident, you know, it's, it's a tier 8 game. I'm top tier. Um... You know, it's not a tier 8 only game, so there are tier 6s. I'm pretty confident in this tank. And I'm even getting side scraping on the right hand side, which is the side that you need to side scrape on, otherwise, it just doesn't really work because of your cupola. Uh, but as you can see, you know, just bullying the KV 85 there. You don't need to really worry about him too much. You know, he's not got enough pen to really go through your lower plate either, unless he wants to fire gold rounds. So, really, you know, this tank can really bully like the low tiers. And, I mean, <laughs> you know, 521 uh, alpha right there, like, <laughs> that's a lot of damage, to, especially against the tier 6. You know, 490 alpha on this gun is lovely. Uh, but, you know, we're just going to progress up here, see what we can do. I'm not going to use my repair kit right there because, yeah, we're, we're pretty safe. Also, there's no artillery in this game, which is making me even more confident because... If I did have artillery in this game, it probably would have been a completely different outcome because they would have certainly wanted to focus me or another heavy tank that is, you know, top tier um, and try and annoy them all game. But as you can see, there's no artillery, so we don't have to worry about that. And we've already done 1.5k damage with nearly a thousand uh, assistance damage as well. And now, I mean, as you can see, like the lower plate of this tank isn't awful when it's angled, but obviously head on, you just you're not going to bounce anything. Um, but yeah, also in this game, we uh, we get to see Jules' perspectives. Um, it's not just going to be my screen that you'll be able to see. Um, the T-54 Mod 1, who is the other person that is kind of the star of this video, um, he actually, you know, as you'll see towards the end, he, um, he had a good game. And... Um, you know, I've already kind of ruined it that he wins, but, you know, I, I want to explain what he was doing and how, what what I was doing at that time and how he could have countered me um, if he had done certain things. So, at the moment, this ISM, I almost feel bad for him. I mean, I said it during the review. He, he honestly doesn't really have much hope against me. I mean, I, I don't even know how it's the same tier. Honestly, the ISM should be like a tier 7 tank. It's just... I mean, it's armor's great. But that's about it. And if you get close enough, you can just shoot down on it. Like this. Alright, like, right, come on. There we go. Like that. Now, 509 into the ISM. Now, that 50TP prototype is a little bit of an issue for me. Because, well, this gun doesn't have the best accuracy. And frontally, that 50TP is pretty well armoured. You have to hit his lower plate, otherwise you're not really going to reliably pen it. Um, or you could hit the cupola, but that's I'm never going to hit that at this range with this gun. So I'm trying to go for the, the lower plate. But as you can see, I'm not really having much luck with that. 
right there again goes into his track so he don't do any damage. And this one SM plays, has played well because he's taken out the um, the people that wanted to push him. Now, I don't really know why both of them didn't just flank him but oh well. We're just going to finish him off now though. He does actually put one shot into us but eh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but that shot does take out our engine because like the love of this tank as soon as anything goes through the front, you're almost guaranteed to have your engine knocked out. Now this, uh, that shot, I mean, uh, I should have really aimed a bit higher there, not gone for the tracks. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. This is a bit of a uh, a mess, let's say. Yeah, that's uh, it's not very uh, good. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to go for the cupola there. It doesn't work. Um, but as you can see, we've actually been capped as well. And uh, this KV-2 makes a, uh, a hero run into the cap circle to try and spot them. You know, as you can see, the T-20 was capping. And does the KV-2 take him out? Yes, he does. Okay, so we've got a dead engine. We can't repair it. Let's go and see what uh, T-MAT-2 is going to do. And here he is in his T-54 Mod 1. Uh, right at the start of the battle, he's going to go straight into the middle. Now, he's obviously telling this T-20 to follow him because he wants as much support as he can because... This map, if you don't have support, you're kind of dead. Uh, because most of the time there's at least three, maybe even four tanks that are either light, so they're really fast, or medium tanks like this one, that are going to be pushing into the middle. As you can see, the light tank has gone into the middle. Luckily, the T-54 Mod 1 does have very nice armor um, for its tier. And it can just kind of bounce shots from this little tank. It doesn't matter. Go away, little tank. No one cares. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Yeah, you done well. <laughs> Almost feel sorry for him. <laughs> but uh, this T20 has decided that no, no, no. He uh, he will sit in this little uh, this little area, doing nothing. So uh, Team Act Two has got loads of help. And this shot is a bit interesting. Uh, he kind of sees into his future in a second. Um, when I was watching this for the first time, I, I was like, Oh God, look at this! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Disgusting shot, but um, yeah, I mean that the AMX for yes, I'm safe here. Nope. So at the moment he's already done 1.3k and basically just mopped up the um, our light tank on my team. And as you can see, me over there, yes, big old German heavy tank, yes, beautiful tank. Uh, but no, so he's just going to chill. Not really. He's just going to remain spotting this Cromwell because hopefully this T20 can do something. I mean, he's moved up, so. Who knows? <laughs> but as you can see, this T20 is a bit, a bit clueless of what's actually going on. And in the middle of the map now, the Cromwell has advanced. Um, so you know, we, as you can see, we, we've we've pretty much lost the middle. Like <laughs> it's it's kind of the end of the story for the middle. Our team just flopped. Like, Matt has taken out everyone that's gone into the middle now, and the T20 has just remained a bit. Yeah, not too sure what that T20 was doing. But uh, no, so this spot is actually pretty nice to sit in because you're not going to be spotted now. So if you've won the mid, this spot here is deadly. You can shoot anyone that is trying to cross to actually, you know, take you out. Or take out that flank that I'm on at the moment. And as you can see, you can just put shots in all the time. As many as you want. Like, he, he doesn't care, like, he's got good enough armor, because most of the tanks that are over there, they only have maybe, like, 200 pen at most, and that's going to go off with distance, and this is maybe, like, wait, how far away is that, like, 300 meters? Something like that? Maybe 200, 250? Uh, what does that say? I don't even know. 300 meters, 320 meters or something. So, you know, you're going to lose a lot of pen if you're just firing AP rounds, over distance as well, and then against the slanted armor of the T54 Mod 1, you're not really going to stand much of a chance. Um, so as you can see, he's just mopping up the enemy team, or well, my team. You know, I, I should really tell him to stop, but... <laughs> yeah, my team wasn't the best in this game. But really, none of the teams were. Like Either side was kind of evenly matched-ish. There wasn't really anything that was majorly, you know, overpowered about them. Like, there wasn't any overpowered tanks in the game. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a balanced game, and I think all games should be like this. There shouldn't be, you know, 
matching you up. Like at the moment at tier 10, you get the 430U, and that can be matched up with, you know, something stupid. Um, I, well, to be fair, the 430U, well, it can be matched up with something that's not as well armoured. And I think that if you're going to do that, then you need to match it up against something like uh, an STA-1. You know, because that thing has great accuracy, great gun depression now, especially with the uh, the siege mode kind of thing. Um, and, but, you know, you've got to try to balance the game out. Like, as you can see here, we've got... Uh, sorry, he's, his team has got a 50TP prototype and I've got a VK-75-1. They're kind of balanced. They both have similar alpha damage, like the 50 TP has 440, and I have 490, so it's not too different on it. Uh, similar, I mean, I would say the 50 TP has much better armor than the VK. Much, much better armor in that respect. Uh, but, as you can see, we've just finished off the ISM, and Matt here is going to try and take out this T-34. Now, having seen that his team is capping. As you can see on the map, it looks pretty safe. Like, if I was at T20, sure, I'd go and cap. Because that KV-2 that we know does kill, you know, or shoot him. Um, he doesn't... He's not on the map. I wouldn't predict that a KV-2 is going to be down the right-hand side of the map right now. You know, like... <laughs> the KV-2 on our team... Some say he could play clever, but others... Hmm... That's a, it's a bit of an interesting play from the KV-2 to go down there. Um, especially with so much action over our side, you know. And he kind of went solo over there. But as you can see, he's just going to destroy this T-34-100 here. And here we go. We're back to the point that I left you on. And as you can see here, we just it's a bit of a stalemate. No one really knows what to do now. Because on the one hand, sure, like... I could go all the way into their base and try and cap. But, if I had gone into their base right now, then obviously Matt's going to spot me and I don't have loads of health and I also have a dead engine. So I have to kind of think about this. What should I do? I have a dead engine. I can't progress up. If I progress up and they start capping again, you know, obviously they're not going to now, but the KV-2, you know, has killed him. But, if they had started capping again, it, it could still happen. I don't know where this T-54 Mod 1 is. You know, he he could go and kill that KV-2 and then go and cap. And I'd have no chance of getting back if I had gone for their cap. You know, so at the same time, yeah, sure, go for the cap, try and kill him. But how, how are we going to do that? You know, I'm in a very, very slow heavy tank. And even with my engine not destroyed... It's still going to be a long time for me to get back, and I probably won't make it back in time. The KV-2 also, you know, as you can see on my screen right here, you can see that the KV-2 is, you know, trying to drive through the middle of the map. And this is a very bad idea. If if Matt is, if Matt is sitting right here, he's going to spot that KV-2 in no time. You know, he's even looking there. You know, he's going to load a, um, I think that's a, I don't even know. I can't see when it's so small. I think it's APCR. He's loaning an APCR round for him as well. So if this KV-2 keeps pushing, then he's dead. There's nothing I can do about that. And this is the thing. Like, you're, you're, if you read my chat, you'll see that this FV-4202 gets a little bit angry. Um, he's apparently very angry that I didn't help him because apparently he messaged SOS for me. Uh, and I, you know, I messaged him after the game, and uh, he, uh, we had some, we had some, we had an interesting conversation. You see, uh, I told him that, you know, I tried to explain to him that if I go to the cap, and he starts capping, because you know we're never gonna, I'm never gonna get back in time. And you know, he obviously was like, yes, but you didn't answer my SOS. I was like, oh, my mistake. I'm very sorry. I should have dropped everything and come to your assistance and not assisted my team in the slightest. You know, give, give him a bit of sarcasm. You know, if his players are going to be like that, then, you know, give it back to him. But uh, right now, I just want to wait. Because, obviously, I don't know where he is. And, you know, the KV-2 is going to maybe spot him. Maybe not. You know, it, it's like a 50-50 whether or not this KV-2 spots him. More than likely, if the T-54 Mod 1 is smart, he'll want to not spot him. 
Um, and right now I'm saying to my team, I'm too slow to make it back. I can't go and cap. Um, so, you know, if that if he comes from the right-hand side, the KV2 will spot him, no matter what, at this stage, if he just stays there. And I'm not too sure why this KV2 is trying to go down here, because really, we just need to wait, and wait for him to appear to us. Because we're both too slow. He has got the mobility on us. He's He's got the faster tank. You know, like if one of us is caught out in the open, there's nothing really we can do. Um... Whereas if he's caught out in the open, you know, he's got enough time to go all the way around the map or whatever. That's why I'm pre-aimed here, because this way is the only kind of other way that he can go. Um, and obviously the two paths join at this stage, so I will be able to spot him if he comes this way. And this KV-2, I don't know why he's not stopping now. He doesn't need to keep going. And look right now, look at the T-54 Mod 1. He is blasting his way down here, right towards where our KV-2 is. Now... If the KV-2 had just sat back, like, you know, I am, um, and fair enough, you know, there wasn't very much communication. I was too interested in annoying this FV-422 driver and, you know, telling him, explaining why I'm doing this, you know, because he's spectating. Obviously, he knows everything at this stage. Uh, but as you can see, he spotted the KV-2. I don't know whether the KV-2 has six cents. Uh, if he does, then he should be smart and stop. But obviously he doesn't. Misses the shot. I don't know why he rushed it. If he hadn't have rushed it, we would have won this game. It's as simple as that. If he would have taken his time and just shot this T-54 Mod 1, we would have won this game. And you'll see later why. And at this stage, you can see I'm, you know, I'm trying to run. I'm trying to get into the cap because... I mean, just look. Just, just look what I see on my screen. <laughs> I just see oh, I'm on my own against a T50 Mod 1 who I can't one-shot. And I basically have no hope of actually, you know, outmaneuvering him. So, what's the best thing that I can do? Well, get into the cap. Because if he wants to win the game, then he should go to the cap circle. You know, because I could be anywhere. And there's only three minutes left on the game there's, I mean, sure, like, I could be around the map somewhere and he can't, he won't be able to find me, but, uh, you know, we do spot each other here, which is, well, very interesting. Uh, I don't really know how, uh, you know, obviously I'm very tall tank, so I can spot stuff, but as you can see right here, like, it's a bit tense. Now, I predict that he's going to go around to the left, and he does. However, I do get a bit, like, I don't really know how I don't spot him here. Um, obviously, as you can see, I'm only narrowly missing him. Um, but I try and go all the way forwards right now. And, yeah, I'm too late. He's already around the side. And, as you can see in a second, there he is. You know, he puts one shot into me. And this gun... Well, this tank has very, very bad gun depression. Um, it, it, it doesn't... It can't depress the gun enough. Look right there. It's just... Come on. Come on. And he's ammo me twice now. The first shot ammo me. The second one ammo me. So I'm down to a, you know, 28 second reload. There's nothing I can do at this stage. You know, and then he just finishes me off just like that. So congratulations. You made me look stupid at the end of the game. Uh, you got very lucky with those two ammo shots, but... You know, GG, you won. Well played. So we did lose this game, but, I mean, Matt here had a great game. So, and the, you know, there's always positives. I get to show you a good game by him, and you get to see me lose, which is quite often on this channel, let's be honest. But, um, no, so, was there anything that we could have done differently? Well, yeah, we we should have really communicated with the KV-2 better, and just ignored the FV-422 driver. You know, he's a moron, we just need to ignore him. But... At the, end of the, at the end of the game here, I didn't play the best. You know, I shouldn't have tried to ram him. I should have really held my ground and tried to get shots onto him and made it a bit harder for him to kill me. But, end of the day, it's just a game. There's no point getting too annoyed over it. And, you know, Matt had a great game. So, yeah, you know what to do. And I'll see you in a bit.